As promised, today we will only work on examples about linear momentum equation. No new concept in this tutorial 17. But before we continue, let me just copy the slide from previous tutorial. And remember this shortcut for uniform velocity profile. Here is our first example. This example is quite similar to the first example in the last tutorial. The difference is that we have to deal with both the x and y directions. So let's quickly draw the free body diagram for the control volume and the elbow. The force, weight of the water, the surface forces, and the velocity. And for the elbow, the surface forces go in opposite direction, the weight of the nozzle, and the anchoring force. But to facilitate force balance in x and y directions, we better decompose this diagonal force into x and y direction. So, let's do the x component of force balance. For the fluid control volume, we can write down the x component of linear momentum equation, and that is and the velocity profiles are uniform, so that we can use the shortcut for this integral. And u1 is just v1, u2 is just the x component of this vector. And finally, m1 equals m2, so we can factor that out. By looking at the nozzle, we can immediately see that the x component of the anchoring force equals Rx. So that's Fax equals Rx. And we repeat the procedure for the y component. For the y direction, we have the y component of this force this force and this downward force. So, by the y components of the linear momentum equation, and we can use our shortcut for this guy, But there is no y component for the inlet velocity. So we now find a y component for the outlet velocity. Our outlet velocity points this way, and this is 45 degree. But this y component points opposite to the y axis. So this is negative 3 to sine 45. And we do force balance for the nozzle. Only the anchoring force points upward and the other two guys points down. So we now have symbolically find the anchoring force in x component and y component. What's left is to find the values of these guys and plug in the values. So we have area 1 equals i d squared divided by 4. So we can finally substitute the values.
and we are done with this question. I shall say that this kind of problem has very really high chance to be on your exam. This question here asks for the force along more than one direction. However, we don't even know the velocity and the pressures. Luckily, the flow is frictionless, incompressible, steady, and one-dimensional, so that we can use Baloney equation as we did in tutorial 13, and to find the pressures and velocities first. After doing that, we can apply the linear momentum in x and y directions. Then we now work on another example that involves hydrostatic pressure. So, let's draw a free body diagram for the coax gate, so there is a hydrostatic force and an anchoring force. And these two forces shall equal to each other. And the same choice here, halfway from the top. And the area of the gate is HB, where B is the width of the gate. For the open gate, let's consider this as the control volume. So we have hydrostatic force on this side, and also this side, and there is friction from here and also the anchoring force going this way and we also label the velocities and the F2 here is again a hydrostatic force so let's apply the x component of linear momentum equation and the forces are But the velocity profile is again uniform, so we can use the previous shortcut for the integral. But by continuity equation, so u2 is greater than u1, so this term is greater than 0, and we make the anchoring force as the subject. And these guys are all greater than zero. This guy is the anchoring force for the closed gate. So this is smaller than FA1 and we have FA2 smaller than FA1. So let's just work on one more example. And we choose our control volume as this one. So there is a reaction force from the plate and we label the velocities. And we draw another free body diagram for the plate. So this must equal to the anchoring force. And now we set our coordinate system like this. And if we apply the linear momentum equation in the y component, and there are three sections here, with one going in, two, three going out, and V1 is the y component of this velocity. And this angle is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. And we compute the area of 1. So we get FA equals So we have used the y component of linear momentum equation already So we guess that we can use the x component to solve this problem But actually do we know the x component of force acting on a fluid? The answer is yes here, the air velocity remains constant, that is, v1 equals v2 equals v3. Also, the flow is horizontal, so z1 equals z2 equals z3. And 1, 2, 3 here are all exposed to atmosphere, so p1 equals p2 equals p3. Then, the Baloney equation is satisfied, and there cannot be any friction. Since any x component acting on a fluid is friction, we get the x component equals 0, and that is the integral. Now again we expand this integral.
since this is in and two and three are going out. And we continue to get U1, U2 and U3. Velocity 1 goes this way. This is the Y component and this is the X component. And this is 30 degrees. So U1 is indeed positive and it is V1 cosine 30. And velocity 2 is going exactly in the X direction. And velocity 3 is going exactly the opposite to the X direction. Since this whole thing equals 0, we can always cancel this velocity, so we get So this is our equation 1 And by continuity equation, this is our equation 2 Solving these two equations And we are done with this part And for the final part, finally we have a moving control volume to do this, we have to use the relative velocity. So let's write down the y component of linear momentum equation. But here, the direction is not changed. W2 and W3 is still going in these two directions. So integral 2, 3, W, Y, blah, blah, blah is 0 since this term is 0. And we are only left with the 1. And this W1 is still going in this direction, and it is 40 minus 10 meter per second. So W Y for 1 is in fact W1 sine 30. Rho is rho. And the normal vector for this surface is going this way. So there is negative W1 dA. And I missed the negative sign here. So this becomes And we get And we are done with this example So today we went through 3 more complicated examples So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching Feel free to ask us any question and give us any feedback in the comments